So International Women's Day holds a very special place in my heart. And I remember being a very young woman entering the workforce. And what I vowed to myself was that when I grew in my career, I wanted to pay it forward to other women that were starting their career or any women. Because I know that as women, if we stick together, then we can get further together. Not only is it important for us to remember all of the incredible and amazing accomplishments that women have contributed to society, we also need to continue to strive for seats at the tables where the conversations that directly impact us are being made. So many years ago, I have three sons. My eldest son was six years old. I went to my boss, who was the president, her wedding. And when I got the thank you card back, there was a picture of a woman. My son asked who that was. And I said, that was the president of our company, my boss. And he said, women can be presidents. And I nearly died. I was failing as a mother and as a feminist. And I realized then we need to talk about our, our successes. We need to talk about influential women in important positions. Um, we need to talk and talk and make sure everyone hears. I do believe that we've come far as women in regards to breaking barriers, but we can't forget the women that paved the way for us, that have gotten us here. And so I think anytime we can celebrate how far we've come and the people and the women that have been instrumental in getting us here, I think that's imperative to continue to do. And that's why as a woman and being surrounded by such strong, powerful women, we need to, to keep the torch going and keep it alive. I think it's really important to celebrate International Women's Day, really to take a look at the steps of where we were, where we are, and where we need to go. And for me, it's important, um, obviously, because I'm a woman. <laughs> Second, I have two daughters, and for me, I want them to be recognized for what they're capable of, and I don't want them to have any barriers or any glass ceilings to hold them back. I think it's important to celebrate this day because there are women all around the world that don't have the luxury of celebrating milestones, that don't have the freedoms that we are able to benefit from, and I think that when you can aspire to what's possible by seeing it online, through the media, reading it, it gives you hope. And that's why I think it's really important to continue to spread the message that equality, inclusion, diversity, women's rights, our ability to be at that table and stay at that table and turn around and bring the next generation with us is both a call to action and it's a beacon of hope for people who aren't even close to being able to imagine a world like that. Well, we know that International Women's Day arose to draw attention to the struggles and challenges that women have had historically, as well as in present day. For me, International Women's Day represents an opportunity to reflect. Reflect on the many things that have been achieved over time. An example of this is Viola Desmond, who I love that she is now featured on our $10 bill in Canada. And until that was done, I didn't really know how pivotal she was in ending racial segregation in Canada. So when we learn about these kinds of achievements of other women, they can help to inspire us to break the same kind of barriers that Viola did. I also reflect on the work that still needs to be done. In Canada, women only earn 88 cents on the dollar for every dollar that man, a man earns. And that is even more pronounced for racialized women or women with disabilities or for women in other parts of the world. So when we learn about and reflect on what still needs to be done, it can also really galvanize us to help make change. So International Women's Day for me is about positive change, where we all work together to make sure that we live in a world where opportunities are not hindered by gender identity. But I think um, with gratitude about the many things that have changed for the better, I think about girls that are now playing soccer and about young women that are entering STEM programs and about how many more women are becoming entrepreneurs and entering the political field. So yes, 
International Women's Day is a time of reflection. It's a time to think about where we've been and how far we've come and where we still need to go. I think it is incredibly important to celebrate women and I think it's important to celebrate the men and women's lives that help elevate and um, support them. So why it's so great to celebrate International Women's Day is it gives us an opportunity to showcase all the super women in our lives um, for everything that they do. And whether that be a parent, or whether that be uh, an influence, an influential person in your life, or whether that be a mentor, or a leader, or a friend, or a partner, um, we have the opportunity to talk about all the wonderful things that women are doing in the world, around the world, that are helping shape the future. And I wish we would celebrate International Women's Day every day.